Uh, so, some of the infestations um, that I've seen over the years have been in a lot of the people who are uh, older and have very big infestations because they don't realize that there's a problem to start with. Uh, sometimes they don't react to bites, they don't realize they've been bitten. Um, some of the behavioral stuff about bed bugs, um, how they can crawl up smooth surfaces, which is usually stated or uh, been stated by many of the pest control companies and other researchers, is that they don't go up smooth surfaces, which was based on their tarsi having no pads between them. But there actually is a pad on their wrist, so they actually crawl on smooth surfaces with their wrist. They'll go up glass that way, even fully fed, which I've taken videos of. And um, so some of the cleaning techniques they have, also people had thought that they, um, they don't clean themselves because they don't have chewing mouth parts. So that's based on looking at cockroaches, let's say, which have chewing mouth parts and will bring their feet, tarsi, you know, um, antenna through their mouth parts and start chewing and cleaning these surfaces off because insects need clean surfaces because they're picking up different chemicals from their environment and the receptors are on there. So if things are dirty, they really don't sense what's going on. Uh, but but uh, bed bugs actually have combs on their wrists, on the front leg, and they use the comb to clean off antenna. And I've also watched them and videoed them cleaning their mouth parts off too. Uh, so I think if also if pest control companies or the manufacturers of different uh, monitor devices or chemicals um, or insecticides, uh, you know, look at what the bed bug does and see more of their behavior, they may be able to devise something that can be used against them. Uh, if you watch them clean, they simply just stop in the middle of doing everything and start cleaning. So if they stop, that gives, them, gives you a way to introduce something to them that they would have more time to pick up or be attracted to. We're looking now at a lot of the basic chemistry of the bed bug and their pheromones, uh, feeding uh, chemicals, uh, chemicals of aggregation, chemicals that make them uh, leave an environment because it, it's an alarm pheromone, uh, mating systems, uh, the internal bacteria that exist within them to produce B vitamins because blood doesn't really have enough B vitamins for them. Well, they actually do learn uh, studies, especially with glue boards or sticky tape, and those are have been devised to uh, entrap them, uh, but bed bugs will go to sticky surfaces, and if they do get caught, uh, they pull away from it. Many times they can get off. It doesn't hold them as well as cockroaches, or they don't climb on real quickly onto a sticky surface. Therefore, they won't get stuck very easily. Uh, but uh, they do learn, and it appears when they come into that contact again, they back away more quickly and go off more to the side and try and they'll get around things that they don't really like to go into. I, I've worked with one company that was making almost like an artificial cribellate spider silk to entrap bed bugs and other insects, which, which has worked too. I, I think some people have called uh, bug man or bed bug, um, bed bug doctor, or doctor bed bug, but uh, no one really has that much that I know of. They just know me as Lou, <laughs> the bug guy sometimes. Oh, there's actually a few people who, you know, keep bed bugs and feed them because they don't really react badly to it, like as I don't. Uh, but if people react badly, which can be very bad, even one bite, so they never would do this kind of work. And if they have a problem in their apartment or home, uh, they have to really control the bed bugs that are in there. And in, in some cases where um, maybe a number of a few cockroaches in some cases would be livable, you know, and you just keep controlling them. But with bed bugs, if they had a very bad reaction um, and they have a reaction to one bite, then zero is what the tolerance is for that person. Well, yes, of course they penetrate the skin to take blood, but any of the like diseases that uh, mosquitoes or ticks transmit, that disease organism lives within that creature's body and makes its way in some form to the salivary gland. So it's injected when that creature feeds. And there's no case of that happening in bed bugs with anything that they do have. 
uh, but there are related retivid bugs, or triatamine bugs, or the kissing bugs that transmit uh, certain diseases like trypanosomiasis. Uh, that route is through the rear end. So when that bug is feeding, they defecate where they feed, and then the person scratches because it may itch, and that introduces that cr stuff into the body. But with bed bugs, that doesn't appear to happen either. But bed bugs can carry infectious diseases. Um, they carry uh, whatever they pick up in the blood. Uh, so, but in most cases, if not all, whatever they have inside them are strands of DNA, or but it's not really a, a virulent organism itself, so it's not transmitted in any, in any way. There are certain, let's say in New York City, maybe certain neighborhoods have higher incidences of bed bugs than others, certain apartments, since New York City is, is a lot of apartment, you know, dwelling people. Um, there's been, over the years, uh, bed bugs in, um, well, where people have athletics, you know, they go to work out, they may bring them in a the locker room. There have been locker room infestations um, in the workplace where people have them at home, bring them, put their clothing and such, you know, in the locker and then go to work. Uh, there's also been cases where uh, nursing care, social workers have brought bed bugs from one home to another home back to work. Uh, some of the cases um, in hospitals, they've been introduced and they've been from patient's room and then brought from one patient's room to a home or to their family. Uh, there's been, a f that's been sort of going on a lot, even in retail stores where people have infestations, buy clothing or shoes, uh, bring them home and then return the stuff to the store, it's returned infested. It just, if you have a city that has lots of apartment dwelling, a condo co-op kind of thing, then it's, it's uh, a more of a problem because you have infestations more concentrated because you can have multiple apartments infested in one place. And if no one uh, reports it or treats it properly, it's very easy for bed bugs to move from one place to another or be carried from one place to another, which could be even schools too. That's how they're introduced into schools. Uh, it's, I don't think it's as bad as it was when things started happening, like say 15, 20 years ago uh, in this most recent problem. But it's not that it's gone, it just hasn't made the news as much anymore. It's not a brand new story. So I, I know from talking to a lot of the pest control companies and to people who call up from their co-op or condo or from apartments or homes, you know, it's still a big problem here. It, it's still something that people, some people at least, uh, don't feel comfortable talking about. So they won't tell anyone there's a problem. They try to keep it a secret, and by keeping it a secret, it actually gets worse. If they try to treat it themselves and really don't understand how to do it, the treatment makes it worse and also may spread. But there's even some home remedies that may be uh, from, if there's a lot of immigration, you know, people have old or or ways of doing things, and some of these have been very dangerous of applying kerosene to beds, sofas, gasoline, which, yes, does kill those insects, but now you have a dangerous condition. And there's been fires where people smoked, and the bed went up in flames. You know, people are trying to use, uh, it, there's um, heating systems that are used to control bed bugs, but they're done with by professionals. And then a person says, well, I'll get a heater and put it in the room, and then, a fire starts because they're just trying to save money, but it's really not getting rid of the... Actually, the fire gets rid of the problem, but it also gets rid of the home. So that's not good either. And, and it doesn't just uh, affect you by bites, but it affects psychologically. People will have gone through post-traumatic stress syndrome because they've had it at one time, and now they're over worrying about still finding bed bugs. Or uh, some lesions can occur on the skin, or reactions or feelings of bites or crawling sensation, which isn't from anything actually biting or crawling, but they think there's still an infestation going on to really be that. And no one really keeps their apartments that hot unless they don't have air conditioning. So yes, but, but it occurs throughout you know, the whole year because you have central heating. 
when in th thousands of years ago there wasn't central heating, the bugs had a good uh, estivation period in the winter and then w become more active like a lot of insect populations more in the warmth of the spring. Uh, it's still a big problem, uh, I know from hearing about infestations, um, but it's, it's not a big surprise anymore, I think is what it is. People realize that it's a bed bug infestation, and because it's been many years already uh, hearing about it, uh, a lot of them know what they should do or start contacting others, and those people say, oh yeah, we had one, this is what you should do. Uh, it, might, it wouldn't be a, a riotous thing, I don't think, anymore. And, and if more you know, landlords have to take care of it, if they do proper things, then yeah, it, it would be better to control it. People weren't aware of bed bugs because it wasn't a big problem. It wasn't even something spoken about. Um, and then, you know, when it, it did become a big problem, uh, and it was, took everyone by surprise because of complacency. Uh, now, uh, I don't know if people are as complacent, but at least they have a little more knowledge than they did at the onset of this whole problem occurring. I mean, people 50 years ago knew about bed bugs, you know, and new things they should do, which isn't, they're not done today because it may have um, included a lot of different chemicals and solvents and things that were used. Uh, but some of the basic heat treatment, um, vacuuming, you know, was used, and, and some basic information of what to look for. So that's sort of starting again, and, and people had a little bit of practice already for 20 years. Uh, so many more people are aware of it, but yeah, if they're complacent, and, and in some situations, some family members are complacent, and some people in that family aren't. You know, a lot of uh, maybe husbands say, oh, it's not a big problem, Cause, and, but the wife has been, you know, researching it online, saying, oh, this is a big problem, we have to do something, and he might not react to bites, but maybe the kids and the wife do, so he doesn't really have a first-hand problem directly, until... Some searching finally shows, you know, 10 bugs here, 50 bugs here, 100 bugs here. And then, show, and then you start seeing all these different skin lesions, wounds, extreme itching that can occur on other people, but not on everyone.